Oh, Connor, you're a madman. There is Argo Zero. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla back again with more Detroit Become Human. Thank you for joining me as always. We're playing as Marcus and we're mounting a march towards one of the camps where they're destroying Android life. We had Connor infiltrate Cyber Life and give us thousands of androids for the cause. We have decided to go with the peaceful route. Public opinion is on our side. I'm hoping the peaceful route will prevail. We have chosen to not be violent in any way, shape or form throughout the entire playthrough. We packed off because I seriously hope that wasn't our detriment. They're ready. They're ready and waiting. Here we are. The moment of truth. We're not here to surrender. Public say watching. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now. We gotta stand firm. Just like we did the first time. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. We shall march on. Fire! Fire! I don't want North or Marcus to die. Same act of protest we did before. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Okay, let's hold your fire. That's what I thought. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Oh, Connor hasn't activated them yet. Stay sharp. Connor ain't dying. Oh, Connor, you're a madman. How do I convert you? Do it, Connor. Easy, piece of shit. 
Step back, Connor. Oh, I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. Wow. Wow, it's all going down. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Find a way to leave. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Here's Oliver it. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your Thank mom. You. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Security check. Oh. Oh, you're going to give me this moral dilemma. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Oh, I feel like a piece of shit. Here? We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Come on, Alice. Oh, I feel. Oh, that's. Mm. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. I am so sorry. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. Just trying to do what I thought was right to protect us. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Let's get it.
Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. So am I, Josh. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Let me get around here. I'm trying to support my people. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. We want equality. So going on over here. We can put out another fire on. going on here are you all right they shot into the crowd many of us were killed it could have been me I'm scared I I don't want to shut down we're here because we never want to feel that fear again because we're more than what they say that's what our people died for right that's why we're here I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. You tell him. 
Can we kiss again? Okay, we have supported all the people, now we can check on the troops. They won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? I hope we so. We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. They won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I have to, North. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. Don't kill Marcus, I'll lose my mind. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. You tell him. That android. You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die. Do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could... Start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. That's selfish. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. That's... Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. We haven't come all this way to accept a deal to just save mine and North's lives. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh, 
I need Connor to hurry up. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Come on, Connor. Come on! Hold it! Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him, we have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. Oh, shit! The other is a sack of shit. Oh, no! Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? His name was Cole, and he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. And he died, which is why he Cole hates androids. Know. It makes sense! That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death? Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Good night, imposter. I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Let's do this. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up.
wake up, 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 wake up. The Calvary's coming, Marcus. Excuse me, what's going on? Order control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> this way, please. Gonna wrap this one up here guys. Thank you for joining me as always. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button if you're new to the channel and enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe and join the God Zero Nation. Social media links down below. Notification bell. Make sure you hit it. But that's it from me guys. I'm out of here and as always I'll catch you guys next time.